we need to understand how to evaluate the frequency response of an amplifier given its circuit. We need an expression through which we can study its behavior. To do that, first we introduce reactive components. These include inductances and capacitances, which are represented by the reactances J omega L and 1 over J omega C. We can also express them via the complex frequency variable S as SL and 1 over SC. So our first task is to find an expression for T omega, which is the transfer function of the amplifier. This can also be represented by Tj omega or Ts. Now the transfer function will be according to our amplifier circuit. Our task is to find a mathematical representation for it. Now take a look at this circuit. We need to find ratio of V0 and Vi. Applying the voltage divider gives us this equation on your bottom left. Now increasing omega from 0 to infinity, we see that the transfer function magnitude goes from 1 to 0. On a logarithmic scale and taking the decibel value of the magnitude, we can draw this response. This is called a Bode plot and it shows that the gain falls off as frequency increases. This is an example of a low pass network or a low pass filter. It lets the low frequency sinusoids pass and stops or severely attenuates high frequency ones. It is useful to know the time constant of these circuits. And for this one, the time constant tau is L over R. We can look at this circuit featuring a capacitor in series with a resistor. This is an example of a high pass filter. Remember that the reactance of a capacitor is 1 over J omega C. So when we have zero frequency, we expect all our voltage to be here at the capacitor. Hence the transmission or the magnitude of the transfer function is zero as no voltage appears across the resistor where our output is. Similarly, when we increase frequency, we see that the reactance decreases of the capacitor and so more voltage is available at the output across the resistor. Our transmission increases and at infinite frequencies it is unity. You can see the body plots here for both magnitude and phase. Again recall that we choose to represent transmission or gain as decibels. So here the maximum value is 0 decibels as opposed to unity. This is because log of unity is 0.